You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. Well, this week we're taking a look at an awesome application. It's called Time Lapse HD, and it does exactly what it says it does. It allows you to make time lapse videos on your iPad 2, and it's super easy to use and tons of fun. So what we're going to do is we have a photo shoot going on next door, and so we're going to set up Time Lapse HD and make a time lapse of our actual photo shoot. So let's get over there and get going. Time Lapse HD is an awesome application. Let me show you how it works. It's very, very simple. When you first open it, it looks just like this. It's a vertical format app. And so there's some weird things for doing horizontal movies, but it still works. So on the lower left hand to get you started, there's this little I button right here. And that is for more info. So there's a full help menu and there's a bunch of more famous apps that you can look at and there's reviews, etc. So that's right there if you need it. But to get started, what you need to do is push this little plus. And what the plus does is it gets us started. So I have Stunt Pig all set up. I'm going to add some light so we can actually see him and it won't make it be all grainy. So I'm going to really blast some light in there. The iPad adjusts its exposure. And now we have an Orson Welles looking Stunt Pig. Now what we're going to do here is go through the options. Up here on the upper left, we have this little note. And you can push that to make it have a little circle and a slash. And what that means is if you want to record audio or not, you can turn the audio off. Because on a lot of uh, time lapse videos, you don't actually need audio. We also have SD and HD if you want standard definition or high definition. We're going to leave it at high definition. And then if you want, you can actually use the front camera. So look at this. We'll see. Here's Matt there, our video guy, and all the video camera and everything going. So I'll zip this back over so we see Stunt Pig again. There it is. And we can also hit the home button to go right back to the home page, which is not what we want to do right now. Now really, the, all the features are found right here in this little gear. What this allows you to do is change the uh, interval, first of all. So it's how often does the uh, shot happen. And so we're going to set it for one second. But you can do hours and minutes and seconds. So you can really delay things. So you're taking one shot every hour or one shot every five minutes. Whatever you want, you can throw that in there. So I'm back at the configuration menu here. And we have the timer. Now what the timer does is it tells us when we want to start and stop our time lapse video. So we can either have it set to manual, where you actually hit a button to start things and hit a button to end things. Or you can go in here and give it a specific day and time. And so you can set that up. So maybe when you wake up in the morning and you leave for work, you want to see what the dogs are doing all day. Well, you can set that up to do that um, or whatever you want to record. So um, we're going to leave this to manual. The same thing with end time. You can set it to manually shut off at a certain time. Now, the other thing that we have here are uh, the output setting. And that allows you to choose how many frames per second you want the video to play back at. We're going to leave it at 20 frames per second. But you can see that there are all kinds of different options here. And so based on these, you can really make things move fast or slow so you have a lot of power to configure your time-lapse video the other thing you can do is you can put a timestamp on here so if you want to see exactly what time of day something is happening you can add that I don't want that right now because I want this to be a nice clean video so everything is set up the way I want it I'll hit the little gear here and we're ready to go and so to start off I'll just hit this button right here and it will start recording I get a little chime there's stunt pig I'm gonna have him move a little bit Another shot happens, I'll move them a little bit, another shot happens, and I'll just keep moving them around. And you can see this little tally light keeps going on and off here, and that's telling us that we have a time-lapse video happening. And here in a second, we'll have a little shot of Stunt Pig moving around. So I'll have to move like that. Okay, now I'll hit this again, it'll stop. I actually have to touch it. Now it's going to say, please wait. Our video is ready to go, and when I play it, there's the time-lapse video we just made. It's very, very short. But you can see it's a lot of fun. Now when I hit done, you can see that now I have a video right there at the very front. And if I want to share that, I can push this and it'll allow me to save that to the camera roll or send it via email or I can just play it back. And I've got all those options right there. Just like other iPad apps, it's really, really easy to use. Now probably what you're asking now is what if you want to do something that is a horizontal picture? Well, I'll hit plus to start a new video here. I just rotate this just like that. You get Stunt Pig over here, he's sort of falling out of the frame. Now, if I hit this, it's going to start recording horizontally, even though it's showing this vertically. It's not. So I'll do that. I'm going to take a bunch of wacky pictures here. Not really exciting, but I'll stop that by pushing my record button. And you can see I actually have a horizontal movie. Even though the application is vertical, the movie is horizontal and if I rotate this back you can see that there it is a horizontal movie 
just like we wanted to do. And so there you have it, time-lapse HD, an awesome application for the iPad 2. So what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna use time-lapse HD to record one of our photo shoots in the studio so you can get to see the real power of time-lapse HD. All right, we have a photo shoot that's just about to happen and I wanna capture a time-lapse. And so all I've done is I've got my time-lapse HD on a stand. I'm actually using a Wally Connect kit right here from Tether Tools to hold it on our stand. And I'm also gonna plug this in to make sure that uh, through the day the power doesn't run out. I'm gonna hit the little plus and we're gonna start making a video. So I'm gonna hit record and then I'm gonna raise this thing up. And we are going just like that. So let's take a look at the actual time lapse that we shot. And if this time lapse looks familiar to you, that's because that is a time lapse of our shooting in the studio of episode 206 of Digital Photography One on One. It was a lot of fun. Well, there you have it, Time Lapse HD. It's a really easy app to use and a lot of fun to make those videos and you can share them and post them just like we showed you before. So get out there, take a look at it, download it and use it. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you have an iPad app that you like and you want us to look at it, send your suggestion to me to askmark at adorama.com. Well, thanks again and I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.